Oh, you know, yeah. you got to stay in shape. Yeah. Uh, the, the head coaching schedule is crazy, so you just got to go run when you can. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, are you here early? Are you, are you an early guy? I'm like, an early guy. Yeah. I'm an early guy. All right. Are so you, you an early guy? Uh, I have to be okay. for this job. Fantastic. I would prefer to sleep in, but <laughs> um, we are uh, – congratulations, and Thank we're uh, really excited about this new era, and uh, that's Curtis. Uh, that's Wig. Do you know Wiggy? Wiggy? I know Wiggy. Okay, no, you're familiar <laughs> yeah, with this. He's a new coach. I'm going to try to recruit him. Oh, sure. oh, good. Yeah. How, did, how did that go? How did that go? <laughs> it didn't go as well as I planned, but, you know, it was about helping the kids. What was the record? Uh, we were three and eight. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, good. Yeah. We had, yeah. we had a, we, <laughs> yeah, we had like a, you guys. We had a freshman quarterback, so uh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. difficult. Yeah. No so. excuses. No excuses. Uh, <laughs> good grades. All the, yeah. all the players had good grades. Our progress reports were spectacular. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. He is, unfortunately, he's available. That that only lasted one year in Brock. Yeah, so. they didn't resign. No, it was a no. union thing, you know. So <laughs> it's kind of like, it what, hey, listen, I had a blast. It is what it is. You know what I mean? So uh, they didn't ask you back. No, no, no. no. They That's wanted crazy. to go in a different direction. You know, uh, there were a lot of people. There were people out there that were complaining a little bit because they didn't like, you know, the how record. Was, they didn't like the no, record. no, no, no. They didn't like oh. how it's hired. You know, a lot of people get butt hurt when you. You know, come in as not the you, outside. You're an outsider, yeah. so yeah. I was an outsider. But it is what you it don't is, have man. that issue. You're an inside. I'm an inside. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, an inside. inside. You ain't got nothing to worry about. So you you're, near straight. as we near as we can tell, you've had the job for like five years <laughs> ever, since, ever since you got here. Um, how's how's it? Have you moved it now? Did you take Bill's office or did you want? I've not moved. Honestly, I've just been uh, trying to get the staff together. Yeah, that's the the biggest lift right now, and. I'll get there at some point. Um, how's I mean a lot of I think there's a lot of interest in kind of the how it will work for you when it comes to the relationship with with Robert Kraft and Jonathan and yeah. um, is when it comes to hiring is that is that all you is that uh, when it when it comes to uh, um, you picking your staff it, it, it's yeah it's all me okay. it's all me at this point I would say not all me also you know Matt Grow Elliot you know they're really helping out so yeah that's good. Um, you're, I don't know who you can or can't talk about, but, um, sounds like Great, far away. Give me Nick, some Nick Kaylee, <laughs> Nick Kaylee, Kaylee, Kaylee for an interview. Absolutely. Confirmed. Yeah. Next. Okay. <laughs> um, Wes Welker. What you... <laughs> Not confirming that one. <laughs> Not confirming Wes Welker. Come on. Keep um, them going. No, have, keep them going. Do you have like an interview question? I mean, do you ask these guys where they see themselves in 10 years? No, 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 no. Honestly, these interviews, um, you know, we're just starting the process, so it's, it's to see, you know, they've all been Zooms so far. Yeah. We're going to bring in people this week. Um, at the same time, like, you want to hire people that you like and that are good at their job. So, yeah. The Zoom interviews are more, you know, philosophical questions, not really X's and O's. Then when they come in here, that's when the X's and O's get going. What's the status when it comes to Steve Belichick and, and Brian, I guess, those guys? They've been offered the opportunity to stay? Confirmed. Yeah. Or unconfirmed. And have you I'm heard? Sure. Have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid you, you haven't used the word collaboration and evaluation yet. So you know, I was like, I, I, there you go. Just try to collaborate. We're evaluating and collaborating. <laughs> yep, that see. was a word. That no, but word. I mean, um, I, you would like for both those guys to stay? You know what? We have a great relationship. Um, they have the they have the option to stay. They have the option also to go with their father if they would yeah. like to. So I'm um, still kind of going through it. Um, I have a good relationship with both of them. They're, they're great coaches. Uh, we'll see what happens. How was it relationship? -wise? Does anyone else ask questions? Or is it <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, this, is my, this is my first time here. Yeah, yeah no, everybody does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Courtney too, by the way. Oh, uh, we we stopped I, the introductions after Wiggy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the problem. Yeah, that's the he's the, problem. the quarterback, so we wait. <laughs> yes, we wait. We wait for the nod. I can stop. Right. I just wanted to ask how it was looking at things. A lot of times we look at stuff from the outside. We're not here. You are, and so well, we're here today. But how was it the last year, you and Bill? Was because because I could see that being an awkward situation uh, honestly it, it was fine in my opinion it was fine um just was focusing on the defense uh some a lot of the defensive players also play special teams so we always try to talk uh together uh, but it is what it is you know coach and i have a good relationship uh but right now i'm just focused on on this staff okay sure i want one of the things that is i look at to be very interesting is to see the role that you kind of will take on in the sense of more of a D'Amico Ryan's calling the plays. That's why I'm super, I, like, the biggest focus I have is the offensive coordinator because I mm -hmm. feel comfortable with the defense. You've already proven that. Yep. Is where do you see your offense going? And is there, like, you know, is there, like, a philosophy that you kind of like or you want to get away from what we've seen here for so many years? Is it a little bit more of a mobile quarterback? What's your philosophy from that perspective yeah you always want to have a quarterback that can extend plays now in saying that 
you could be fast, but you also could have great pocket awareness. Mm-hmm. Look at a guy like Tom. He wasn't fast, right. right? But he had great pocket awareness. You know, when it's all said and done, it's about the players. And, and one thing I took away from uh, Coach Belichick is players win games and coaches lose games. So we can talk all we want to about scheme, what we want to do. Or if you don't have players that are out there that have a shared vision that are on the same page, then it's going to be hard to score points. And and that's what it really comes down to. Look, everyone gets up here, they say, oh, I want to throw 10 deep balls or I want to run the ball every single – like, that's unrealistic. And we will remain a game plan team. Like, whatever we have to do to make the other team play left-handed, offensive, defensive, or even um, special teams-wise, that's, that's always been the goal. A lot of times last season we talked about the leadership in the locker room and it seemed like there was a lack when it came to players and, and leaders. And I, I liked what you had to say in your introductory press conference about treating leadership like a garden, making sure to grow those those players into leaders. When you look around this locker room, the guys that you have right now, are they present? Are they here? And who in your mind is the biggest the biggest leader? Look, we have a lot of guys, I would say, for a long time. I'm not sure what Slater's going to do, mm-hmm. um, but for a long time, he's been a, a great leader in that locker room. We have leaders defensively. We have Wise. We have Bentley. You look at the offensive side of the ball, you know, however you want to slice it, look, whoever the quarterback is, and you know this too as, you know, being a coach, the quarterback has to have some type of leadership ability. And and hopefully, you know, we can get to that point where, you know, we, you know, David Andrews, great leader on the offensive side of the ball as well. Hunter Henry, great leader on, on the offensive side of the ball. But what I will say is, it's hard to lead through tough times. And that's when you really start to see uh, people change. You really start to see the attitudes change, people getting in small huddles and things like that. And that's when people are looking for a leader, right? When everything is not going right, they're looking for a leader. When you're winning games, it's easy. Like, come on, guys, all oh, family on three, 150 family. <laughs> and, then, and then you go on a six game losing streak and you're like, you know, like, forget it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah, family. Just, yeah exactly. On three. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was what um, I did, So, did Mac Jones struggle when it came to that leadership role? Well, I'm not saying that. What I will say is, you know, when I, when I think about Mac, he obviously has talent. And once again, we're in the evaluation phase. I will say, with that, you know, the confidence of a player is very fragile especially this these players now like i'm an old man or something like that (laughs) but confidence goes a long way and and honestly as i continue to evaluate uh, as we continue to evaluate as a coaching staff like we'll we'll see but you you know these guys can play football like they're here for a reason it's not like it's not like we went over you know to brockton high school and just pulled some people (laughs) over here right yeah these these guys are players and at the end of the day there has to be a shared vision there has to be you know the players have to really feel like they are being heard they have to feel like they have some stake in the game plan so if it doesn't go right you know the accountability piece starts to show up if you just throw some pages that are you know here here this is what we're doing this week not saying that's what we've done yeah but defensively we've always tried to take the input of the players and they're on the field i always tell those guys hey once you cross the white line like it's yours here are the keys to the defense. And I say, you know, every week, you know, there's a canvas, a blank canvas. I'm like, I don't care what picture you paint. Just don't paint off the canvas. <laughs> and that's when we have a problem if you get off the canvas. And so many times I would say, whether fans or, or media, they just think it's, you know, it's so pre-planned out that things don't change on the field. And my thing is, look, this is what they're trying to do. Everyone's like scouting report, scouting report, scouting report. But they're also self-scouting. So when you think about it that way, look, look, we're using retrospective film to sit here and try to predict what they're going to do. Now, do those plays start to show up? Absolutely. But my thing is, it's about awareness. Like, What's the down and distance? Where's the quarterback? Who's the running back in the game? Those things are more, what's the score? Those things are more important to uh, for a football player, right? So he can anticipate what's going on. It's not, it's not, all right, when they get in this formation, it's 67% pass. Like, good luck. Good luck trying to think about that. If you can, if you can use those numbers, go play blackjack, right? Start counting cards. But um, it, it's more about awareness and those guys having accountability and the shared vision uh, of the team. So looking back on last season, do you feel like from a coaching staff perspective, you may have let Mac Jones down a little bit when it came to building his confidence? Yeah, you know, the thing the thing I would say is, you know, if you were to ask Mac Jones, he made mistakes along the way as well coaching staff we made mistakes along the way as well and i'm not just talking about the offensive coaching staff one thing about mac you know everybody talks to mac special teams defensive players offensive players and we were trying to help him with that confidence but i think everyone 
everyone has everyone there's enough blame to go around yeah 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 um we may have to take a quick break are you here for a little bit if you want me to be yeah we do we want you yeah, all morning. right this is the first this is the first one it's the first one and last one until august right yeah I'm all right <laughs> we'll figure it out all right go ahead. take a quick break gotta pay the bills pay all, right, the bills. all right all right gerard mayo is with us we're at gillette stadium it is mondays with mayo do you prefer mondays with mayo or mayo mondays <sighs> let's go uh Let's go Mayo Mondays. Mayo Mondays? Yeah, I okay. think that one's It'll be better. Mayo Mondays. Can you just do just do a poll or something? Can yeah, we'll put a poll. Yeah, yeah, put a poll out yeah, there. Greg we'll always likes <laughs> extra mayo. I, I, there you I go. I prefer, I prefer there you go. extra mayo. Yeah. Well, All right. It, this uh, got weird. It just got weird. <laughs> <laughs> it got weird. Pause. All right. We'll be right back with Gerard Mayo. From the Rubenstein Law Studio.